A man and a teenager are charged with trying to set fire to a horse head's home. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. I'm Scott Cook. Thanks for choosing WBNY HD News at 6. We're going to get to that story in just a minute. But first, we have some breaking news tonight out of Gang Mills. We have reports of a drug bust, police describing it as a major drug bust, in uh, at an apartment complex on Redwood Circle. The Savannah County Sheriff's Department was on the scene for most of the afternoon. They say they executed a narcotics search warrant. That's right. WENY HD's Kelly Meyer is at that scene learning more details about this bus. New information is coming out throughout the evening, so we'll have the full story tonight at 11. All right, and getting back to our top story. Following the story we first told you about last night, when someone tossed a Molotov cocktail onto the front porch of a home in a quiet Horseheads neighborhood. New tonight, police have two people in custody. One is 16-year-old boy. WENY HD's Candace Cole joins us live from the scene of a police search earlier today. Candace. Scott and Renata, I'm here in Elmira Heights, standing in front of the home of at least one of the people suspected in last night's arson attack. Now, I was here earlier, and investigators could be seen collecting evidence from a car in the driveway. It was around 7 o'clock Wednesday night when this home in this quiet Horseheads neighborhood was attacked with a firebomb. Police say at least two people were inside at the time. Luckily, no one was hurt. Mallory Freeman lives just two houses down from the house on Valley Avenue. There was police officers, dogs sniffing, um, different particles of things were out in the yard, like a rug and a Rubbermaid container, and we couldn't see that far, but um, the dogs were sniffing, and they were taking pictures of evidence. And today, officials showed up here at 103 Harrison Street in Elmira Heights to continue their investigation. It's the home of 51-year-old Roger Allwood, one of the suspects involved in last night's attack. It's where Elmira Heights PD first spotted the car used in last night's attack. Our officer was able to locate the vehicle yesterday evening, and from that point on, basically, um, we've just helped them maintain the perimeter. And we're at this location now in the attempt to recover evidence associated with that crime. An accelerant sniffing dog was also brought to the scene looking for evidence of either flammable or bomb making materials. State police investigators collected evidence from the floor on the back seat of the driver's side from the car. However, state police say the car does not belong to Allwood, and it's still unclear as to why the house on Valley Avenue was targeted in the first place. But neighbors say they don't feel threatened. I don't feel unsafe at all because this neighborhood is really good. It's nice and calm. Like there's never any arguments or anything that goes on around here. So I don't feel unsafe at all. An investigator, DeWeese, assures us that this was not a random act and that neighbors really have no need to be concerned. We're still not clear on a motive. Live in Elmira Heights, I'm Candace Cole for WENY HD News.